Hey there, so, um, probably gonna, um, gonna wrap this up pretty soon. I'm gonna do two more Chicago album reviews, and then I'm gonna probably do another, ba do another album review from uh, another band or artist. So, um, today I'm gonna be talking about Chicago's, um, this will be their 10th studio album, so that's not including the live albums because um, they had, you know, like I said, uh, I think it was two live albums, one in 71 and then another one I think in 75. So this is their 10th studio album, um, but including all the albums, this is like their 12. Um, it's called Hot Streets. Um, which, you know, I don't know why they call it Hot Streets. Um, I don't know why they, you know, because the other ones, you know, they call it Chicago, Transit Authority in Chicago, also known as Chicago 2 and in 3 and whatever. But I don't know why they call it Hot Streets. Probably something different anyways. Um, so it is, this album here, it is the first album. Um, this one will be without... Um, guitarist and um, vocalist uh, Terry Kath. So it's um, it's not a bad album. It's not the best. I wouldn't say one of my favorites, but you know, it's it's okay, you know. Um, but yeah, this is the first one um, without him. Um, well, this album was uh, released on October 2nd of uh, 1978. Um, the songs on the album include, um, um, Alive Again, um, The Greatest Love on Earth, um, Little Miss Loving, um, then there's, uh, that one there, Little Miss Loving, that, uh, that song there, uh, featuring the, uh, Bee Gees on vocals, um, and then um, after that is Hot Streets, Take a Chance, um, Gone Long Gone, um, Ain't It Time, um, Love Was New, um, No Lover, and then No Tell Lover, and then the last song on this album is uh, Show Me The Way. Um, so this album here has the sounds of kind of like rock, jazz rock, and then, um, somewhat, you know, disco. So it's kind of had that disco, little disco vibe to, to the album. Um, come here to, like I said, their stuff. The album before that was pretty much like their rock, you know what I mean? Like, um... Uh, the style of the other albums before that was rock, but this was kind of like completely different from um, from their albums before this. But this here is kind of like completely uh, completely different. Um, but um, yeah, like I said, it, it just it wasn't the same. Um, um, I have to say this, you know, not one of my favorite Chicago albums, you know, not a bad, you know, it's, it's okay, but it's not, you know, one, in, it's not one, in, like the stuff before that, I would say was, you know, I really, you know, was really good, but this stuff here wasn't, you know, I found this here complete, like this one, and then the next one is, which I'm going to do an album review after this one, um, isn't uh, one of their best stuff I found. Um, so I go through the songs again. Um, so it has the songs um, "Alive Again," um, "The Greatest Love on Earth," um, "Little Miss Loving." That one's featuring the uh, Bee Gees on uh, vocals. That's different. Um, then Hot Streets, the name of the album. Um, Take a Chance, Long Gone, Long Gone, um, Ain't a Time, um, Love Was New, 
um, No Tell Lover. Um, and then the last song is um, Show Me The Way. Um, yeah, so this, you know, not one of my uh, favorite Chicago albums, I have to say. Um, it's not, a, you know, it's not, not the best, I would say, not the best stuff, but... You know, it's, it's, it's an okay album. Um, but anyways, um, also, you know, check out, I've done other album reviews of Chicago from, you know, Chicago Transit Authority to Chicago, also known as Chicago 2, Chicago 3 album review, I did that. I've done Chicago 5 album review, Chicago 6, I think Chicago, I did Chicago, um, Chicago 7, then I done that album review, then I done Chicago 8 album review, then Chicago 10, Chicago 11 album review, and then I done this one. Um, yeah, so I'll go through the songs again, and then I finish it off, and then the next one I'm going to be talking about will be Chicago, um, the, you know, next, next album after this. And then I'm going to finish this off. So there's um, Alive Again, um, Take a Chance. Um, then there's, um, after that song is um, Gone Long Gone, um, Ain't It Time, um, Love Was New, um, No Tell lover and then the last song on this album is um show me the way not not to be confused with uh, peter frampton's uh popular hit um show me the way not to be confused with that um yeah so check out other uh, chicago album reviews that i've done also i've done ones of um if you like uh, pop i've done ones of jewel from uh pieces of you all the way up to picking up the pieces so there's like shade or whatever there's that so there's like pieces of you spirit um this way zero three zero four album reviews so those album reviews um sweet and wild perfectly clear album review and um yeah so make sure to check those ones out if you're if you're into that kind of music and also, I did Madonna album reviews, and I did other different rock band, like uh, Bob Seger album reviews. I done that. Also, I done um, Super Tramp, um, all their albums from uh, Waller, from um, Super Tramp, um, indelibly stamped album review, which surprisingly that's that's getting more views than I thought. Um, there's that. Then. Um, then after that would be um, Crime of a Century, Crisis, What Crisis, there's that one. And then there's, um, after that is Even in the Quiet Moments. And then the last one would be um, Breakfast in America, which probably had to be my favorite Super Tramp album. Anyway, so check that out. More, many more album reviews. Make sure to put a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this uh, album review, and then, like I said, the next one I'm going to do will be uh, the last to finish off the Chicago album reviews. So make sure to check out the other ones, and make sure to put a thumbs up, comment down below. Please subscribe, and um, all you people that subscribed to me so far, thank you so much. Um, yeah, it means a lot. Thank you so much, and, uh, and uh, bye.